Yes. Tom yeah. gave him fair listens, bro. That was 2021 Coldplay? 2021 Coldplay. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about like listening to something like that and seeing. I mean, they have to constantly be in a state of hearing feedback from girls in college. Like every day they just have to be like, what is the barometer on, on 20 and a half year old girls? What are they into right now? I mean, they know because they're fucking messaging them constantly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had a mystical experience at your concert. Wow. And I left my, I, I left my, uh, my fiance. I'm very curious about this intruder mood you were speaking about in the sesh. Yeah, no, I, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, sorry, dude. Fall in love. Can I take like two seconds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having like a fucking. Whoa, are you freaking out? <laughs> All right. Sorry, I had to take a second. Starting now. I was starting to answer that question. I was like, I'm in the middle of fighting a panic attack. I don't want to tackle race relations right now, but we're back. I needed three seconds and I needed to know my boys are with me. Now I'm back. <laughs> it's so funny how those things come about. I've been yeah, getting hit, whoa. dude. When you mentioned the overindulgence recently, I've been getting hit with like overindulgence. Yeah. This, this is my cycle with weed. I pig and I get hit with overindulgence panic attacks. Dude, I just got, man, I just had the biggest fucking release of fucking weird guilt that I was holding on to. Really? So, uh, as you may know, Anthony just recently became a jujitsu world champion. Yep. And dude, the fucking guilt that that released of the, like all the support that she's been doing for me all this time for comedy. Yeah. Like, I always wanted her to achieve like her goals. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And dude, she finally did, and it was like, oh yeah. yeah. Now it's time to fucking let I mean, me. she blew That's nice. she blew so far past you, it's nuts. Not possible, but uh, <laughs> please explain. <dude>, world champion. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a yeah, PA. We go ahead. We're having a share right now. <laughs> Sid Sharon, you're in it with the PA. Sid's like, it's just cute that she you know she went out there and did her thing. That's not what Sid like, said, yeah, dude. That's a not what world Sid said. champion. She's a world champion. She's a world Sid champion. Sid was saying, but, but you're she, talking to her personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sid's talking to her I know, I know. But no, no, but like, but to speak to I understand that. Guys, I just recovered from a panic attack. Did you not fight? I need to speak to Tim saying, she is a world champion. Now, now she. Like women get seventy five percent of the world championness that men get, so like Ooh, okay. yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> they're playing that was crazy. League. That I was like, Cindy's doing pretty, or I was like, um, Ansley's doing pretty good at jujitsu, and it's like world champion. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> fuck, that's a no. She's been like fighting yeah, no, she's hard for a long time. I know, but that's time, cr- she's literally is she the world champion right now? Yeah, yeah. And where's her, the? Does she have a belt? Is they medal. not give? It's, gr- a, it's a medal. Why don't they give tricks a belt? That's sexist. That is. They don't get like sexist. a UFC WrestleMania type belt. She does have one of those from a different organization, from Naga. She has a belt. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, she has. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's the shit. Like, it is what it is. But, like, again. She yeah. has the belt, bro? She, yeah. <laughs> she has what? the belt. She is now the most accomplished the person I think you, I know personally. How do you feel about that? Me, for sure. How do you feel about that? <laughs> how do I feel about she's her? She's got the belt. the belt. I don't know. She's a, she's a, she's a genuine. She's a, a, a fucking generous ruler. You know what I mean? She's benevolent. Like, she's benevolent. Yeah, really. she's not coming home and being like bow down. You know what I mean? I still eat her pussy the same. Like, there's no. I'm not saying it's yeah. not. Well, it's, it's that's what I'm saying. That's how fucked up it is. As a dude, that would fuck me up. As a dude, she, I feel yeah. I. I dude, I I see it too. When we're flying, I'll see dudes get into a, a dude panic about like like a girl will grab her own bag off the top. He's like, oh, I I got that, I got that. And it's like because yeah, oh, they think everyone's being like you fucking pussy. Yeah, I wouldn't. You dare. should be carrying that. I wouldn't dare. Like that's like that's her chance to prove herself in the airplane. But I'm saying I'm we all take that. We all carry like specific dude loads. Yeah, and that she, would hit my. That would that would be an error to my dude load. I'm which I'm shedding by the way. I'm trying to get rid of all of it. So the the next day she did make when she came home. The Does that next make sense? Day, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. She no. There's all right. There's a there's a thing in a dude's brain where like you know you never you don't no one flies that often. But what what you imagine is part of it is you helping a lady down with her yes. with her luggage. Yes. An and when when know. that gets when that gets shattered, you're like, oh, is everything I think dumb? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I never, I never pictured like helping anything but an old lady with a bag at the airport. Like she's like, like Jewish and like you know, a little hunched over with one of those uh, veils, not a veil, but you know what I'm talking about, like a hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. They cover their head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, wait, why do you picture women covering their heads? Because I, I, I only a help hood? the most respectful women. You're there. talking about a woman in a cloak. Sorry, I was fighting yeah, another intense panic attack. But, uh, <laughs> say that one more time. Yeah, I only. I only Wait, are you help. describing nuns? Yeah, well, not nuns, like Jew- the Jewish ones, the old Jewish ladies. You know are you talking? calling the champ an old Jewish nun? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm so confused. Do I or does she exude that type of humility? Are, is that what you're saying? No, I'm, I'm saying. I almost on, tapped again. On, I was yeah. saying, Guys, can we stop again? <laughs> on an airplane, I'm not helping out bays. 
Do you understand? Mm-hmm. I'm not helping out hot ladies. Yeah. They haven't earned it. Like you got to be an old lady that shows some sort of respect to a higher power in, in the way you present yourself. Yeah, I'm talking about a guy helping his wife. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's that, that, that sounds that sounds a lot like happy wife, happy life shit to me. No, it was it was a guy. I what I get is like because when you have the wife and kids, everyone's carrying stuff. And as a dude, you're doing the math of like, I, dude, is I'm she a, carrying more than me? And if she's carrying more shit than me, that's hitting my dude load. And I, you know, what I mean? you got to make sure you're like, dude. When I walk on the planes or like anywhere, I'm carrying so much yeah. shit. I'm about to die. When I'm walking through and an airport, I look like I'm wearing a mech suit. <laughs> just from all the shit on me. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's a specific dude in security that's mm-hmm. like, I can't let my woman exude any sort of physical thing beyond mine. Now, I like to I like to let her learn in the airport and have to come to me like, can you help me carry this? What? Yeah, because yeah, you're yeah, usher you trading places. man. Yeah, you need yeah. a man right you're now? You're usher trading places. Basically, yeah, I let her, I let her, she, cause I mean, you know, she tries, she's the world champ, she wants to try, she wants to challenge herself and everything. True. So everywhere we go, she's trying to like, so you're carry secu- as much that's stuff secure as dude can. load. If my, if my wife was like, yo, I want to push myself with the luggage, I'm like, not today, this is mine. <laughs> I need this right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let her, I'll let her walk her 30 steps before she turns to me and asks me to do it for her. Mm. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's, for me, I struggle with that. If she's carrying more stuff than me, I'm and like, yo, yo, give me that. And I'll, like, I'll get in a fight. That was the justification for saying that women's world champion is like 75% of what a men's world champion is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she's got cool. to come home and do dishes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, man. That's carry, you carry buckets. So, you know, you try to nah, nah. She came home to an absolutely spotless house. The smell yeah, good. Don't front. You just tried yeah. to front. I don't yeah, front. I mean, yeah, right. She came home, yeah, got right it. back in the kitchen. Yeah, clean your yeah, own dishes, right. woman. <laughs> True. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Come home making a mess in my house, yeah. girl. Yeah, nothing's changed. No, True. she's the best. She's uh You're talking about chop wood, carry water, chop wood, carry water, dude. <laughs> nothing's on. changed. Come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. Get to work. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't change. It's just nice on an interpersonal for her. She's probably just like, I'm the champ. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah. It's pretty sick. It was uh you know, we dedicated a portion of our lives to this. Like, not just Ansley and me, but like our whole entire gym was like dedicated to like pushing this woman to greatness and, and fucking it happened. That's and now, awesome. And now it's like, dude, and, and it's, it's, dude, it's I, I don't even, I can't even explain like the level of, I mean, you know how fucking up and down comedy is? Mm-hmm. And dude, comedy is the only thing that really made me show my bitch side to my wife. Yeah. Like I, I've not, I've not cried. I've not been like down and out. <laughs> Why just comedy though, dude? I, I don't know. It's nothing else really fucking. Like, it's, a, it's not like that, you know. Nothing else really leaked into oh, the cracks. I see like what you're comedy. saying. I see what you're saying. That you know gets through to you. Are you talking about yeah. like clenching your fist at home and being like, he said he would book me? <laughs> basically, <laughs> that behavior. Basically, stuff like that. He said like, he would get back to me on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funnier than that guy. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Everyone just voted for the. <laughs> no, you go to bed. I'm staying up right now. Dude, and then, and then for her to fucking stick around through all that shit. Yeah, it makes you sense. You know what I mean? Like, not only stick around, but like give the and then proper become type a world of champion. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough. Uh, it's well, it's also a tough, tough bluff to call to be like. It'd be really tough for her to leave me at all. Give yourself the license. Be like, yo, I could be way worse than I am. Mm-hmm. Like, what like, do you mean? Like, I always wondered how those dudes get away with it. Be like, and he cheated on her the whole time. And so, like, you have, like, a bad, just a terrible father and husband who's, like, he'll be, like, out seen with another woman. Like, dry, like just, but it's, like, I always wonder, like, dude, how far can you really push it? Like, dude, th- there are women who will be, like, I, I, he'll change. Yeah, yeah, no, I. I don't think I'm with one at all. I with plates saw, on the counter. I <laughs> saw one. All right, so these two dudes, uh, I knew them because uh, I, I shouldn't even explain. Sure, sure. Okay, so I knew these two dudes. They uh, like had wives and and kids. They had lived in the same cul-de-sac in in South Jersey, and Fuck. their their business in the city was going so well that they started like treating themselves to like strip club lunches and Bro, stuff like that. Bro, can I put a quick pin in that? I've seen a lot of people who do like. I'm a lawyer, I'm this, who play the game, and they win just, like, by the rules. They get older, and they start becoming, like, perverts. Yes. This ha- this is, this, I've seen this, too, where it's like, yo, like, where you at? Like, I'm at the strip club. Come meet me. And it's the middle of the afternoon. I'm going, you know, I'm not going to lie at the time. I'm out here selling vape cartridges. That's how I'm meeting this person. <laughs> yeah. Not judging. But I'm like, damn, bro. This is, like, week th- the weekends, the weekdays over, and it's just like. Yo, until I'm doing shit like that, I will yeah. never be concerned about my level of decadence. Yeah, like I am just fine. 
I mean, bro, right. I, I hit yes. the stride as I hit the stride of like I was saturated in decadence as a, a single man. Mm-hmm. So it's like I get it, but dude, it's it just takes you to the. It's just nothing good comes up if you hang at the strip club for too long. It's one thing to be there. Oh, dude, I'm this fucking was around every day. <clears throat> okay. Going to the strip club every day. So now me. you're now you're. The, I think they were trying to make it such a normal like successful business bro thing that like their families would eventually just stop questioning it at all. They were trying to make dude, it that. I, like, I knew another company that what? did the That's same what thing. We do. I knew another company did the same thing. So they start going when, when, a I, lot. when I'm at a strip club and I hear the DJ like say the next stripper's name. Before even seeing her, I fall in love with her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no way I can be at a strip club every fucking day. Bro. Not possible. You're a, you're a, you're a, you have a weakness for stripper names. I do. I have a weakness for strippers. Have you ever, uh, <laughs> if, they, if they come set down, if like, you know, obviously if they're poaching me, they're, I'm like, okay, here's some money. Please go away from me. Whenever they do the long game, if they sit down, put the purse up, and they're like, what are you drinking? I'm my head. I'm like, oh my god, dude, she's fucking. She's not like the other ones. She's like, oh <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's what these guys thought. Well, that's dude, what happened. They became they regulars. The pheromones. They had a pair of these ladies that they were like, yes, dude, jackpot. That's what they think, dude. These but that my, was the these are our dead. girlfriends. Dude. Yeah, dude. They walked into like the Bro. most the Navy SEALs of gold digging types of ladies, dude. And they were like, God finally, bless them. Yeah, God they bless were like, them. finally, girls think I'm hot for my success, dude. <laughs> and so they get these oh. girls. They get these girls in a apartment together and they <laughs> furnish it they get like they put in like entertainment centers and shit and uh they saw like, good fellas too many the times. second <laughs> dude day two they show up the apartment's completely empty and they never see the girls again <laughs> they move to a different strip club <laughs> they, Ow, dude. They transfer to a different parish yeah, they just they had, bounce they probably had whole family they probably had families too yeah that they it, they probably were living in like Boulevard motels, like yeah. true, yeah. Hourly motels, true. And these dudes were just like, "Wow, dude, our princesses are here," <laughs> and it destroyed their families. But the one guy, I think, ended up staying with his wife. And I, I think they, die. they either they had kids out. or they had kids after that. But <clears throat> she stuck it out. That's um, a road to perdition. That I don't, dude. I have, I have no visibility into that kind of existence. But here's the thing, though. Go. Ahead. Were you about to say something? No, I was just thinking about the idea of like ruining your family from fucking strippers and then coming back and trying to convince your wife to let her like let you put her your penis in her uh-huh. like your fucking stripper infested yeah. penis that ruined her family right that's, uh, a that's fucking, i mean that can only happen at the cold play 2021 concert <laughs> <laughs> these i think these are like aging cold play people yeah mm. well if you think about it if you've if you've like you know your teacher would be like first. they hit you with like if you don't go to first if you don't do good in first grade you won't go to second grade you get that your whole life and then it's like, if you don't do this, you don't do activities in high school, you're not going to go to college. In college, you're like, if you don't do blah, 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 if you don't go to this job fair, like, these dudes have been, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. And then they go to a, a workplace, like, high money stuff, and those dudes get fucking creepy. Well, no, I'm not even going to say creepy. They're, it's, they, there's, like, a, a heavy they, grease man element if you're, to that. If you're only scheming on business, and it mm. results in a lot of money, and you've just, like, the rest of it is just the autopilot mode, like, your family and shit. Like you're just doing like the beach pictures where everyone's in khakis and white shirts and it's just there's yeah, nothing yeah. you know there's nothing real. But what I'm saying is like, dude, you get into like you get swept up by strippers. You yes man, yes man, get into like high pressure business things. A lot of those dudes like coke, like Wall Street. From what I've heard, is like coke, hookers. It's, it's like a lot of people are partying very fucking you got, hard. You guys are talking about the same thing. And you've been mm-hmm. yes man, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You've been yes yeah. man your whole life. So then your boss is like, you want to go to the strip club? You're going to say yeah. You're just on an unconscious drive. Right. Yeah. Right into some fucking yeah. lady snitch. I, I bet your brain just goes like, oh, I guess Madman was realer than I thought. Yeah. And then here I am. I'm with the boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what is this? I'm saying, what am I saying yes to now? And it's just like, dude. Yeah, now you're eating stripper pussy. Yeah, and then they're they're just hawking you too, because you're walking in there. They're like you're like all they see you have money, you're nervous, and it's like, dude, dude they're Yeah, you're wearing they, a button down shirt with like the white cuffs on it. Like it's different from the rest of the pattern they, they of the hit shirt. You with that, that you, they know you got it. potpourri of like Whatever fucking vanilla perfume they all wear, dude. They're and then like their body, like their body heat and stuff, man. That the is, musk. That that pheromone combination is insane. I'm not, I'm not hating on strippers, but there's dude. a lot of. Dude, them. I don't know, man. I'm not. No, I'm not. Dude, that evokes a is, negative response from me. <laughs> dude, you didn't. You never. I don't know. You didn't. You didn't. We, we talk about Puerto their, Rican chicks at the dance. I'm talking about their I smell. Was, like I was the, imagining the it, perfume. and it made me almost. I I had a 
very, very uh, uncontrollable negative reaction. To what? What did you describe yeah. exactly? I mean, they were hoes. He was like, talking about like vanilla. That vanilla. Body oh, spray. If I smell vanilla. Vanilla body lost, spray, dude. but also like oh. their body odor. It's like oh. a little bit of that like, body musk. Like they've been moving oh. it all night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, dude, he's yeah. about to DJ dude. a boner oh. for me, when dude. When you're at the high school dance <laughs> and the Puerto Rican chicks are all man. I know. I just know that vanilla body <laughs> odor. That vanilla, dude. If I smell vanilla perfume, I'm fucked up, dude. Dude, no way. It's, you can't stop me. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting in. I think, I think every, every I'm getting horny. I'm get, for the record, every, I was having anxiety. Now I'm horny. Dude, a, <laughs> a vanilla <laughs> lady or like Garnier <laughs> Fructis used to be like that. Used to be like your nose following a pie. Mm. When you're on the bus on the way to school. Oh yeah. You call a little bit of like melon hairspray. Mm. Dude. If I, I, dude, if I, I could probably like suck a chapstick. Yeah. If I did a cherry chapstick, I could probably suck it while I jerked off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it was lip smackers. Wasn't lip smackers a big oh, thing? Oh, yeah, that was a thing. Oh, man. We're yeah. putting on lip gloss, and I was just like, dude, this is the hottest shit I've dude, ever seen. Strippers are just like high school sluts extrapolated into adult life. It's the NFL. It's yeah, it's the NFL the of like the hardest high school sluts. And again, I'm not hating on them. What I'm trying to say is... They're doing a very active thing. A lot of times it's like, oh, it's mechanical mode. Thanks to the dollar. There's a lot of them who are on another level. Who are like, there's like Elon Musk of strippers and they're trying to rake dudes over the coals. Wait. So <coughs> fucking hard. In high school, were girls like performatively applying lip gloss all day? I don't know what I feel like was. I saw a lot of it. And now I'm wondering like, oh, was that like a thing? Yeah, but it wasn't. Did. It wasn't for like sexuality. It was for like I ain't got no dry lips like these bitches. <laughs> it was, you know, it wasn't like it, a yeah, sure, sexy okay. performance. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think it was just like they thought it was cool as fuck to have the smackers on. They weren't allowed to wear lipstick. Yeah. So lipstick, lip smackers as a corporation figured out how to get past like parents with makeup on younger women. Yeah, parents having dude, obviously just, good reasons not to have like their chicks looking their young women. They had lipstick. just like a facility full of like sluts strapped to boards just along a wall, just testing out different smells on them all day. <laughs> well, dude, the early '90s was like green light for sexualizing women. Dude, the thong song. Dude, mm -hmm. the thong song was the first thing that made the global society be like, we can be a little bit more horny in public. Yeah, but I'm talking about specifically young women, like Aaliyah was one. Okay. We had Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. They were we just got to like watch teenagers go through puberty being like we love their music. With, with backup dancers. With backup yeah. dancers who were probably adults. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was on. Like, dude, it at was, one point they all did like a chair stripper thing at like the VMAs or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Britney Spears, I remember when she came out, she had to like come out with a whole another album of like, I'm an adult now. I like sex and that's okay. Yeah. And they all, it was like her and all not the ones. Not a girl, not quite a woman dude, or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. What's the one? Uh, yes. Christina uh, Aguilera toxic. just went dude, full I can't hear toxic without getting hard. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, Dirty? The song Dirty by Christina Let's Aguilera? Let's get dirty. Sure. Man, I think I jerked off to that video multiple times. That's a good share. I've jerked off to a lot of music videos yeah. as well. But yeah, yeah if, dude. I'm, if I'm walking through a room and like, it, it, well, this hasn't happened in obviously like 20 years, but if I would walk through a room while talk, Toxic? Yeah, toxic. Yeah. If I walked through and while that was playing, I'd have to like slow down so that my pants didn't make me hard. You <laughs> <laughs> just put Dude. your kid down. Like, oh, sorry, give me a second. <laughs> Dude, sorry. I, kids are on some other shit about grabbing dong. I, I thought it was just my little kids, like two or three years old, just fucking just come up. I didn't know they come up and just grab your dong out of nowhere. I don't know that that's very common. Really? Yeah. I mean, if there's, you Dude. know, they are curious about their parents bodies for sure i've had i was at a party i had two different kids just come up and just go honk ding dong just honk my dong and i was like what the <laughs> fuck is this no i didn't think it was all that i, I just i must have just got crushed at this party that's probably your gray sweatpants <laughs> Maybe you i wasn't wearing sweats i was wearing yeah. fucking jays yeah i was staying tough in my jays dude i got my dong grabbed twice by fucking toddlers i was like yo what the fuck <clears Chill. throat> my older my older son went through it's a like phase eating where he, too. Was, he was constantly trying to accidentally hit me in the balls yeah so I, I, it's just a toddler I guess, thing. I guess I get kind of that. I think it's yeah, a, he's a little bit older. He was he was a older. He was probably in like elementary school. I'm dealing just with two year olds. Just being no, like, it, I, maybe that I, never goes away. Yeah. What? You ever grab your dad's dick? No. No. There's probably part of your brain that's instinctive. Like, yeah. But here's the thing. This is what I'm trying. He's to, got his hands full with one big plate, and you're like, I could I could definitely grab my dad's dick I, right I, now. I, wanted to. I was munching. I'd been on the grill for like two hours. I got to munch a chicken sandwich before my burger. And I was, dude, I was eating it. And all of a sudden, I was like, what the fuck? And a little kid was just like, bank. And then they're just gone. Before you know it, you're like, little mini spacey, dude. 
just comes up, <laughs> grabs Bird. You should like, call the cops. I should have, but your kid just grabbed my fucking dick, dude. I saw a flight outside the Please Touch Museum. <laughs> Me, two years old. Yes. <laughs> your, kid yes. Just, your kid just grabbed my penis, man. <laughs> you announced the entire man. <laughs> <laughs> I have this like light, like a life alert, <laughs> like a rape whistle. Oh my god! You just scream. Oh out fuck! Of him. Get him the fuck out of here, <laughs> ma'am! Fucking pervert! Ma'am, you can't just you touch my fucking f- pervert. You like grabbing men's dicks? You can't just dicks. fucking touch my fucking dick. You like grabbing men's dicks? You fucking pervert! <laughs> throwing shit at him. <laughs> well, dude, as a kid, you're you're naked in front of babies, obviously. And then like I like I push that envelope of like. One and a half years old. Does this still matter? And then eventually they like lock eyes with your bird. And you go, oh God. Yeah. And you go, oh God. <laughs> the garden's fucking over. Yeah. One, like, one day too long. You go, get out of here <laughs> now. But I think they have an idea of birds. So they're kind of like, what the fuck's up with that? So that's why I think drives a lot of like, you'll get a honk every now and again. It's like, yo, chill. <laughs> yeah. Chill. My bad. I, sta- I went beyond yeah, the garden. We will look out. But yeah, it's very, it is, to me, it's just funny. It's a funny, it's a very uncomfortable topic. It's very funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do your kids grab your dicks, dude? <laughs> that's that's instant actually mad. <laughs> when a kid hits you in the balls, that's instant like, okay, it's not funny, dude. Yeah. Yeah. My, I, I, my, my son was permitted to punch me in the balls until his punches got too hard. He was allowed to until his punches got too hard. And what do you mean allowed to? Speed bagging them. Yeah, it was like if he... You mean you would just take it? No, if he could do it, if he could manage to get one in. You know, I was allowed to like be slippery. Oh, so you guys had like an open, he had like a fatwa. Oh yeah, it was a, like arm band flip green. On nut taps? Yeah. Was it vice versa? Was it mutual? No, no, no. But uh, <laughs> once we moved, once we moved from uh, the nut punches to like the belly shots, it is now mutual. It's mutual. It's, yeah, it is currently mutual. Damn. So you couldn't yeah. be slipping at all with the sack? Nah. No, no, no. Oh, dude. That's dude, my, the last my, fight my, I want in my house. My sack footwork was sick, dog. <laughs> Un- unbelievable. So you just allowed for him to like laser tag your sack, dude. Anytime, anytime, dude. <laughs> it is, it is, it is so boring. fucking funny. Yeah. Every yeah. kid at least once while you're while you're chilling on the couch, stretched all the way out, no one else can sit on it because you're too tall. At least one time, a kid will get up on an armrest and jump, and both feet stomp down on yeah. your dick and balls. Oh that, is, that is a guarantee of fatherhood. <laughs> yeah. It fucking sucks so bad. <laughs> Because you're as mad as you can get. That's that's code red. It's as mad as you can fucking get. I got I get mad for it's near like you, brushes. You have to like stop yourself from like throwing the kid into the wall. Yeah, you do go like, Ooh, yeah. like oh, I swear to God. It was an accident. It was an accident. <laughs> Dude, I, I knew you did that on purpose. <laughs> you're old enough. I had a mosquito right on my leg. I was like, Britt, I got a mosquito. Like I was holding my arm like, you get that? She just goes like that. But it was like an inch from my fucking sack and that was enough for me to be like you gotta be more fucking careful you could have really fl-. it was like his heart he's trying to kill a fucking creature if you're trying to she had like intent, you, you intention t- to you, kill you told her to take the shot no I told her to grip it man like I guess she doesn't know that move Dude. just like you're around you're around the sack obviously so I, I thought she yeah for, to be fair yeah. you're lucky she didn't throw a kick I do I'm telling you a mosquito and she was just like whack and I was so mad because I'm like you should know but I'm like no she doesn't have the equipment yeah I was like you should know but you're around sack dude you, you gotta if you, have a, if you gotta cup that mosquito and squeeze it to death dude that's not what she saw you were being held hostage by a mosquito screaming Brittany take the shot take I the did shot. I did and honestly sniper dude she didn't hit and it was, as I well, got mad was time to shine well here's the thing she kind of turned that against me because I'm like you could have fucking hit me in the dick dude what the fuck she was like, yeah, nah, we were down pretty far. I'm like, no, that was really close to my fucking <laughs> no nuts. Way. That she was actually close to my no, nuts. No, no. So on a more human we day, you could have hit me in the penis. There's far. a there's a proximity <laughs> trigger where beyond a certain point, you have the reaction as though you got hit in the balls no matter what. And you're yeah, like true. a kid. It's where you yes. want your dick to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know I think mean? she was testing yeah, me because I like, did yeah, it. If it was warm enough, dude, that would have been a direct <laughs> hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of where I was coming. Because she yeah. countered my anger with like, bro. Yeah. Come on, I wasn't in range of anything. I'm like, no, yeah, you don't know that. You don't know that. Matt, we have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you know. I was like, actually, it was more up like here. Yeah, I was like, you could have fucking got me, dude. All I'm saying is if I like jumped or something <laughs> or squatted down, you might have hit me in the nuts. Matt, you don't wear the proper underwear for your dicks and balls to be down there anyway. True, I, I wear the sheets. You're a boxer reefer? I, I'm sheets at that. Sheets, yeah. I'm fucking. Dude, you're cupped up in there. My dick's like, dude, what the fuck's going on? 
Yeah. Let you, me die right now, dude. Why do you have me in a bra all of a sudden? We're almost 40 <laughs> years old. Now yeah. I'm in a fucking bra for dudes. What the fuck are you doing? It's a real dinosaur's egg in there. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you let it. Are like, you rocking oh, the sheets too? <laughs> what do you mean? The, the sheet? Sheets are, oh, okay. No, yeah, I'm, this is just your, un, your I'm just regular boxer briefs. Yeah. But yeah, they really, they do. The sheets, like you talk, you get, and they get like used to it. Put on a regular boxer. Actually, you know what? They put on regular boxers. You're like, man, whatever. Yeah, no way. That's way too much. Dude. I feel like yeah. I have a chandelier in my pants. <laughs> yeah, that's that is I will say they've got me. I was like a Hanes, like loose, like fart stretched boxer brief guy forever. <laughs> 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 Just like plain cotton. Yeah. Holes yeah. under the elastic. As the bad as possible. Yeah. 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 And I've recently now I put those on. I've got spoiled with podcast sponsors. And now like I put on my regular old underwear. And they're just fucking like I'm like it feels bro. like sandpaper. It's yeah. fucking like burlap. It's what, what are they? Call, it's like animal skins, dude. I put that on. I'm like, what the fuck is yeah. this? Damn, we need to get a fucking luxurious underwear sponsor for stoner dads. I want to yeah. feel that on my pelvis. We could. You'd probably be able to see it while I record. Yeah, you, well, you get spoiled, dude. You feel like an old fat king. Mm. It's like if I don't have like a silky texture on my bird, I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) oh man. Yeah, what did I do to deserve this? What is this laundry day? (laughs) (laughs) My penis is extremely sensitive right now. This is irritating it. But yeah, no, it's a, it's pretty funny to sheath your penis to get into like penis like a nice penis experience. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. My friend put me onto it. My one friend was like, "Yo, dude." Have you ever fucked with Lululemon boxers? And I was like, "No, what's up with them?" He's like, "Try them, bro." Okay. And I was like, "It's just." I mean, I think it's this is like, I think I'm on the slow road to like wearing women's underwear. I think I'm about to just get caught in a thong does, pretty it soon. It does not sound slow to me personally. I think okay. I might get caught in a thong. Yeah, yeah sounds like the sounds like you're in. Who was the box? Dude, who was the you, boxer that got caught in women's you, underwear? If you show the thong over the top of your cargo shorts, I might start showing the boys where I'm at. Like, bro, <laughs> you think sheets are cool? Put on women's underwear. <laughs> I thong up my ass all day. I was like, fuck. <laughs> oh. Guys, can we stop the podcast? I'm having a fucking panic right now. My fucking thong's right up. I'm crazy. <laughs> I have podcast sponsors you guys don't even know about. <laughs> I start taking on a bunch of sex stories. <laughs> guys, you gotta come clean. I've been wearing butt plugs and fucking cock rings this whole fucking time. I fucking lost my mind. I honestly might have a podcast sponsor addiction. I'm on like nine different nootropics right now. That's probably why I'm having panic attacks, dude. I've been trying out all this shit. My brain's like, dude, stop. Do you know any cock ring guys, by the way? No. No, I don't. I think they, I don't know that there is one. I used to, when I, back in the day, when I wanted to get real freaky, I would do the vibrating cock ring with the fucking butt plug thing. <laughs> Not for me, for her. <laughs> for her. You put it on backwards and it goes on. <laughs> as soon as I didn't get to clarify, I was the dude whose wife was carrying more luggage. I was like, babe, wait, fuck, no. It goes in her butthole, not mine, dude. That's, I'm telling you, that's that the dude. That, wait, that's cool. the dude back. That sounds like a hassle. That's the dude back, bro. Wait, but you rocked the vibrating cock ring? Hassle for her fucking butthole. <laughs> yes. The fuck, <laughs> you put it, I would put it on. This is way back. This is a long time ago <laughs> when I really wanted to please my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, this is for this is this is to make your dick more pleasurable for her. It was just, so tell us about it. It was an automatic, dude. It was like <laughs> I was there. I've always been a tinkerer, and I saw this thing. I'm like, yeah. what's that? And they're like, you just wear that, and then it vibrates your dick, and it has a, a little attachment that falls down that goes right to her butthole. That's a vibrating rudder. her butthole. Yeah. So it's like you're having sex with a lady and your dick's vibrating and her butthole's quivering the whole time. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't know, dude, it's it's a forbidden. You can't bust it out on chicks. Okay. They tap instantly. They tap instantly, dude. <laughs> they tap or they're just like, get off me. <laughs> they might be like, oh my god, yeah, I came to so my please get the fuck get this thing off. But I did bring it within a sacred, you know, and it was a relationship, and I was like, I'd like I'd like to share something with you. Yeah. I busted out the vibrating cock ring with the yeah. vibrating butt plug. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, dude, Man. that's part of me. That is part of me. I don't expect. I'm you to so out of touch with yeah. my sexuality you're, right now. I was you're trying the to the concrete crazy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't know. And I went, oh fuck, that's me. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I'm so out of touch with my sexuality right now. It's driving me crazy. Was no, the, were mean? those were those things one time use? Or could you wash it? <laughs> uh, my partner at the time did object to me trying to save it and wash it. So yes, they were supposed to be one time. Single use. I didn't know that. I kept it for multiple, and I think she'd be tough opening the bag on a new concrete. <laughs> I thought if I wash this thing, it's good to go. Yeah. I mean, this thing had the dirtiest job. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, every time you come down, I don't make this podcast too sexual, but you did say I, I might be a sexual podcast guy. <laughs> every time you come down, her clit's just getting. <laughs> with fucking, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's undeniable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's undeniable. Yeah, it is what it is. So I don't want to talk I about past sexual experiences, <laughs> but I tried some stuff. I've how never, long? I've how long did that last it. before it got roofed? You just you can't do it all the time. It's like something you do once or twice, and it's just it's a you're like all right. That's like a you can't you just can't incorporate it every time. Your chick would get it would fuck up her whole behavioral. <laughs> it would fuck her up on like a like a bedrock level. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. You can't so do that. did someone recommend it to you, or you just like I just found it. I just, you know, like you, I had girlfriends be like, let's go to Condom Kingdom. Like mm. you'd have to go to sex shops and shit. And then one time I just fucking like, I was like, I'm going in there, but I'm going to go check some shit out. Is Condom Kingdom a chain? Do people know about that? No, I'm sorry. Condom, I don't, it's not a chain, but it's like, it's like a it's dildo like a mall. Sec, it's like a, it's sex a toy, gigantic sex store. Mm-hmm. Superstore. Yeah. And you would go in there either with your boys and like look around and laugh. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or but you, you go would there by your, weird couples in there. But you would scout. You scout with your boys. I went back by myself, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's time to get freaky, dude." Yeah. I don't. I genuinely don't remember my thought process. I remember being like, in my head, being like, "This is going to fucking rock." I'm That's gonna cool. take it to the next level. Yeah, man. I've never ever tried to take sex to the next level. Yeah, dude. I did. I did. And, I, and again, it wasn't. Well, I didn't get bad feedback. But I remember just being like, "I'm done with that now." But I'm, I'm gonna bring it back. It's not even totally true. I did tell you recently we started fucking with lighting. And, and music That's right Yeah that's pretty sick Dude Post world champ sex Pretty sick Went with the gold light <laughs> It was pretty sick You hit the light Yeah I would've done the been, Joe Biden been, Fucking state yeah, of the yeah, union we've been, we've been fucking with color <laughs> 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 Suck my dick Till I get dementia bitch <laughs> So corny, dude. <laughs> Dement me. Suck my dick. Do I get to <laughs> into the red lights? What song? What song did you go with? No, just like hey, yeah. Yeah. it was Jock Jams. <laughs> 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 the whole Jock Jams album. Even pussy to Jock Jams is fucking alpha, dude. dude. Yeah. You turn off the bedroom light. The gold Ooh, lights come dude. on. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is, dude. Close with We Are the Champions. <laughs> <laughs> Even pussy to whoop. There it is. I, I would be sick. <laughs> That's got to yeah. be sick, dude. I don't think there's any pussy out there that can handle. You get a little activity. I think that you get activity from the bottom. That's with a that vibrant one. and cock ring right there, dude. She'd be she'd be quivering from the bottom with that one. You're the king of spring break. I might be <laughs> if you do that. Not you, specific, not you. I'm, um, dude. If a guy dude, that took the throne immediately, yeah. vibrating cock ring, dude. You threw it out there, cock-ray. and Matt took the dude, throne. That's immediately. like that's oh, like man. I'm not. I don't have it in me to get my tongue pierced to eat pussy, but. That's it's like a clip on. It's a clip on tongue piercing. Yeah, that's like Article B of like. Yeah. I remember, dude. I would hear about that. Like, yo, I fucking, I have a tongue ring. I eat pussy so good. I'm like, damn, dude. My parents are so <laughs> fucking gay for not letting get this shit, dude. I'm getting left in a fucking dust over here, dude. <laughs> Dudes out here just fucking eating pussy with tongue ring. Dude. <laughs> fucking, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I told you the first time I ate pussy, I licked the chick's entire vagina area. I still do. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, glaze my Guys, let me tell you about an article I read on the internet <laughs> about the clitoris. Did you do you remember when you figured found out about women having clitorises? Yeah, I was probably in like second grade. What? Dude, yeah. I found out in high school. Mm. No, they started blasting that on like movies and shows a lot. No, nah, I, I did not dude, I, I actually I think. I did not get to see. I did not know what it was until I was in high school, and I'd eaten pussy pre knowledge of a clitoris, and then I was like, "That didn't go off as planned." I think I let's knew, do some research before, online. I went, before, I, before okay. I knew what the clitoris was, it was made aware to me that men didn't know what the clitoris was. Like right. I was aware of the lack of knowledge of the clitoris. I didn't even know about that, dude. Yeah. I just thought women have vaginas, and if you lick them, they feel good. I don't think I, <laughs> everything I knew about relationships I learned from like Jim Carrey movies. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I learned. Was, I was completely unguided. Where did you get the information? Because I I remember specifically remember the internet search I did where I like found out about a. I clitoris can't remember where I found it out. From. I okay, really you know, can't. My mom and her friends would would like talk about like when they were talking shit about dudes. They'd be like, "I bet he can't even find the clit." Yikes! Like that was like a thing that they would say about a dude. Yikes. That's disturbing. It is disturbing. Like hearing the type of shit that my mom and her friends would say about dudes made me very apprehensive to ever date a chick. Or yeah. to like try. 
Oh yeah. I feel like women also just found out about clitorises in like the 2000s and 90s. To be fair, we may have discovered it and be like, you fucking idiots, <laughs> you dummies, it's right here. So you said you checked down yeah, here. Check I did. Out. Push. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Recently evolved feature. I checked. <laughs> They're all after I don't know. You know I, you want, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I checked. I'm pretty sure they've been bumping that thing up against the wall for a while. Oh, uh, yeah. Have you done your chores? You're fucking <laughs> on the edge of a fucking cabin. <laughs> Yeah. They might be the ultimate pressure players. I, did, were they keeping it a secret or something? Because that thing really came out hard. The Dude, chicks start fapping when they're like, no, but I'm like, kidding. I didn't want even want to say. <laughs> Are you talking about it when is when actually they, when the clip went I mean, mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the yeah when the clip went mainstream. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was it was post th- uh, the post thong song world is so much different than the pre Well, Kinsey, world. remember, you ever, you ever heard about like the Kinsey experiments, right, in the 50s? They yeah. didn't go mainstream. But that was like, yeah, that was pedantic and pretentious still. You know, it was like, it was like the academic, it was like academic. But that was ground zero for like chicks have orgasms and people were like, get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, that, that guy, was, that dude, was forbidden knowledge. That was crazy what that dude did. Well, Got university he, funding and just fucking dildo chicks. What's, what's the deal with Kinsey? Kinsey was he, a guy. Was he the man or, I mean, Sydney just threw his name in the dirt. Well, at the time, imagine this, dude. You're a fucking hardworking trad cath, and all of a sudden, some guy's been taking university funding, and he's having all of the fun. <laughs> he's in there. Like, turns out girls can have orgasms. Turns out, here's exactly how that works. And he was like, just... What was the Kinsey method? He was, he was the first rapper. Was he actually like... He was like... He was, there he was just had, he, he was having people... He was like... Stu- he went scientifically and hacked the box. Yeah. It was like, yo, guys, chicks can squirt. Chicks, a lot of chicks don't have orgasms. You can have intral vaginal organ. He went like let me show fully you. in. Let me show you how your pussy work, bro. And dudes were going like, man, let me try that. He's fifteen said. cores lights a night, giving him soft bird, being like, dude, you better you better shut the fuck up. Dude. You don't know <laughs> shit about pussy, dude. And they got defunded. He got it was a. I think I think it was. I don't know. I, I know there was a bit of a backstory. Like yeah, I think he got you know, a little. Did they make a movie about it? Yeah, they did. Yeah, and I don't know it. I mean. When I first, when I when they showed like trailers for that, I was like, "That's the equally the most boring thing I've ever seen, and also the most." Yeah, I mean, curious. by modern standards, it really is like whatever. <laughs> but there were there was a hard. I mean, dude, we came screaming out of the Victorian ages when like you, if you mention sex, you're like everyone in your house, like get the fuck out right now, dude. Hmm. Don't you fucking dare bring that shit up. But then, if you go back even further, at some point, weren't people just like whatever? Yeah, it was cyclical. Okay, and it depends. It depends what, on where like you, are we in now. Uh, we're kind of in whatever. We're in whatever right now. Yeah, I'm sick. Ba- I'm we're sick in big time. Here. Whatever. Yeah, we're in big time. Whatever. Although I've been a stalwart against. It. I might go. I might get back. I might fully embrace my sexuality again. My sexuality is in the. Dungeon. You let it get away from you, dude. I fucking i I sprayed jizz the other day, and I was just like, that's cool. I mean, it's great, but I just felt totally alienated <laughs> from the experience. I'm like, dude, I gotta get. I gotta. Fuck it. I mean, I obviously I had to put it down so I could focus on other things. But I'm like, I'm about to reclaim my sexuality. <laughs> I'm about to fucking reclaim my sexuality. What, ma- what is the first step? I masturbated in my bed. <laughs> I was like, I need time to take this back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was thinking about something else while I was doing that. Uh, is that is that a large part of your sexuality? First step. How's that going? Spontaneous man? jerking. Jerk where you stand. No. Well, what I've what I've done is I think I've abolished secret missions. Are you, so you're slow jerking now. You're slow stroking. I mean, I don't want to give too many details, but I did engage in <laughs> mutual masturbation with my wife. Cool. Awesome. But the... Uh, <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to fire up the... You got to fire up the... You know. You got to fire yeah. up the coals, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love mutual masturbation. I'm going to be honest. Big fan. I, I very much enjoy it. But I didn't want to take this to such a sexual place. But that's where my life is at right now. <laughs> yeah. I did a mutual mass sesh and I go, <laughs> I should have been more into that. No. I was not, not like, not into it like that. You were distracted. More present, more distracted. And I need to be full. I need to be more sexual. I was just like, I got to get this out of me. I didn't do any cool moves. Exactly. Yeah, no well, noises. Exactly. Like no. I should have, no passionate face. I should have licked my wife at some point. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> licked her. Yeah. I'm trying to get so sexual, dude. You have no idea. So yeah, I'm trying what? to get fully, but it, I, but it sounds like you're starting from zero. Well, yes, I mean, yes and no. I wouldn't call mutual mass zero. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Baseline. We're talking that's about a, a base. That's an absolute app. baseline. That's an app yeah. exactly. But I, what I've learned, and I've never took it to this place, 
and you're talking, this is what saxophone brings up for me personally. I think I just got hit with the sax beam. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone in fully, like, in terms of embracing me and my partner's sexuality, entering through the emotional realm. I've always been like, I'm going to try to eat your pussy so fucking good, dude. <laughs> I'm going to try to fuck her so good. I'm trying to go from the inside out right now. So I'm trying to I'm trying to you cultivate. come running out of the tunnel through the giant poster. <laughs> yeah, dude. My whole life, <laughs> my whole life was like, she's about to see what's up with my average penis right now. Yeah. This is about to knock her socks off. This is the first time I'm, I've ever I'm more like like old timey baseball coach before the World Series, like, you know, this is all this is the only shot we got. <laughs> you know? This is game seven. <laughs> it's game seven of the nineteen thirty nine World Series every I'm, time I have sex. What yeah. I'm trying to cultivate. And if we don't win this game, I'm for sure losing my job. <laughs> yeah, my head it was My wife doesn't come I throw my hat on the ground. <laughs> Mine was <laughs> it was sandstorm every single time. And slowly I'd be Whoa. like I'd be wrap the arounds same, and spiked hair. I'd be the sandstorm being like <laughs> Yeah. Are you not having the best time ever? Yeah, we, <laughs> Did you actually put it on? Sandstorm? Yeah. I definitely probably had sex with Sandstorm at one point. Because <laughs> I had LimeWire and BearShare. I'm going to bring that back. Sandstorm? Yeah. Dude, I used to make mixes. Not like as I, I did have, dude. I did have, I'll be honest, when I was younger, I did have one sex mix. That I, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give us as peaches much of the cream, track dude. listing. Peaches and cream, obviously. Okay. 112 peaches, peaches and, and cream. Come on, dude. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> it was definitely Peaches and Cream. Uh, There's a couple Usher tracks that I, I, if I'd have to like Ursher. hear them. Yeah. Some Usher. Some Usher. Yeah, dude, I had a sex mix. When I was like 19, I had a sex mix. Man, that's not, man, me and Aunt, I, I've been having just nothing but like super passionate, emotionally connected sex for like that's what I'm, decades. Dude, that's what I'm saying, man. It was like now I'm, I'm fully doing the process of just like actually work, working us into like a how do i even explain this dude just like a emotionally secure reciprocal sexuality yeah where it's just like let me just fucking hold you're trying to here. achieve the yin yang i used to make fun of my religion teacher for this he used to hold his wife every morning they'd wake up and hold each other and i'd be like <laughs> <laughs> i was a freshman in high school and i'd be like what a fucking how did you, why did you have bitch? that information yeah. he was telling us he was like guys this this dude was i this, wait was this a all boys school all boys school oh uh, okay and this guy was like a the most devout, the most big time nerd got clowned on so fucking hard. And we're all like, what a fucking pussy. This guy's a bitch. Like, dude, I had the most malice for this dude. Like, this is the guy I used to, like, save up change. And when he turned around, I'd throw, like, like $4 of loose change into the air and let it just clang everywhere. And it's like, fuck this guy. He's such a dork. And as I got older, I was like, dude, he was so right, dude. He would lay on top of it. I mean... Dude, I just imagine like all the ch you throw up that change and he knows you fucked up and he's like, who the fuck did that? And then he turns around, you can't see him. And he's like, he'll see one day. Although this dude did, to be fair, this guy did have terrible breath. The worst breath. Like imaginable. So it was like coffee cigarettes. Nah, I wasn't even saying pussy. Bro. Yeah, this was she probably was just pussy. Just coffee. Yeah, pussy. Now, this is like the stuff yeah. that comes from like a digestive issue. Yeah, is when you get like that deep oh. palatosis. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. The cursed gas. Yeah. But no, again, he was right. Look at me. I was talking shit on him then. It's like, I don't know. Dude, I get halitosis tomorrow. Dude. Holding your lady is the shit. He held, every morning, dude, they take time. He would hold her for five minutes. And he'd lay on, as he told us specifically, he'd lay on top of her and then she'd lay on top of him and they'd just fucking just get their chi aligned. Oh, they had a system? Yeah. They would lay on top of each other. I mean, other. he sounds like he's describing, like, it sounds gay the way he did it. You know? Like, yeah. But it's good. It is. It's a good thing. It is. It is. If I were to lay on top of my wife at 5 a.m., it was 5 a.m., he'd be like, yeah. fucking, dude, I fucking love you so fucking much. I'm, I'm going like, to go get made fun of by these fucking 14-year-olds, dude. Yeah, he's just growing a boner on his wife. <laughs> yeah, dude. Was he? I, hold on. I, I just, I'm so uncomfortable with knowing that about a teacher. <laughs> oh, are you really? <laughs> yeah. In my head, I was like, what? it literally phased me none, but that makes sense. That does make sense. Was he spazzing? Like... <sighs> I, oh yeah, you guys think I'm gay? I'll have you know, I snuggle my wife every no. morning. Yeah. No, he was. I like, lay on top of her first, and then she lays on top of me. Now, do I seem gay, dude? I feel so bad because this guy was like a deeply religious nerd who like was clearly following his passion to try to like instruct 
the spirits of young men at like an all boys Catholic high school and was met with nothing but like, shut up, you fucking fag. <laughs> yeah. Like by everyone. And rightfully so. And looking back, dude, I look, I honestly look at it. I'm like, what a righteous mission that man was on. Yeah. What a righteous yeah, mission. Dude, right. laying on top of your woman and letting her feel your boner grow in real time is a strong, sensual power move. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, I think that's this for me. I'm like, I needed more of that in my life. I was all my, my head. I was trying to reenact the sex scene from Belly when DMX comes home and fucks that lady after she catches him cheating on her. It's just him in blacklight just being like, shut up, bitch, and fucking... <laughs> he doesn't say that. He actually, in Belly, he gets caught getting his dick sucked by a 16-year-old girl, actually. That's the plot line. And she was like, no, he doesn't fuck me, but he lets me suck his dick because I'm only 16. Mm. That's the plot line of Belly. This chick finds out. Well, that's she's like, fuck you. And he's like, basically comes home and he just fucks her. And she's like, yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. In my head, I was like, I'm going to reenact that. Obviously not with the pedof- well, not with the ephibophilia. But I was like, I, I am going to try to just come in and f- purely be like, yeah, dude, you're mad at me. Check this <laughs> out, dude. Check out this fucking average penis. Man, you couldn't make that movie now. <clears throat> what? Belly. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that well, was, I mean, it, you know, it is all black people. It is. They can still and it was the 90s. That should be good. You guys should get something going with that. Yeah. Like belly. Black, black people were putting out Belly remake. Dude, they put up, they put they, out Belly. White people would have to be like, uh. Yeah, here's the thing. Cool. Here's the thing. They put that out. When was that? The 90s? Early 2000s yeah. max? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put it out. And that movie had enough people watching it. Like belly rules. And enough people glossed over the, the rule that was like, she's 16 so she can only suck my dick. <laughs> yeah. Like that. I remember seeing that being like, Okay. At the time, obviously, I was like seventeen years old. But I never saw it. It was only it was only that got available no push. That got no yeah. pushback from that logic of like, yeah, obviously she's underage, so she's I'm training her in the dome game. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kells got wrapped up, dude. Yeah. Wow. Kells was part. Kells, Kells was business as usual. Yeah, there was a there was a time in the rap community if you weren't grooming, you were gay. <laughs> Probably, dude. I think that's what it was. Dude, if you didn't have a stable... Of that might be what a shawty yeah. is. That might yeah. be what a shawty is. With all due respect, yeah, that might be what a shawty teenage, is. Teenage dick sucker. A shawty. Yeah. Yeah, my shawty. You don't got no shawties? Having a shawty, dude. Imagine <laughs> having a... It's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most... I think I had... I think I completely lost my mind like, in the beginning five minutes of this podcast. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I am. I am trying to bring my relationship to it more. Open, just a clean cold plate in 2021 sexuality. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, dude, sensual lovemaking is fucking. It's where it's at. I'm trying to get into it. Yeah, that's why um, I'm very. That's why I'm very patient in between sexes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because I know when I get it, it's gonna be like a fucking transcendental experience. This is what. And this is what I'm saying. What I'm trying to cut out of my sexual repertoire, because dude, the life, the chi is flowing. Mm-hmm. So every now and again, I would. I retired. I hung up. I was like a Navy SEAL of secret missions, just nighttime faps. Yeah. Everyone's asleep. Just fucking hold up. I look at the hallway and be like, clear. Run down the hallway and just fap. I'm like, no more secret missions, dude. It's all saved up. It's not to shame myself. It's just like, dude, every day. You're redirecting it. I'm redirecting it. And it's also like the fucking chances every day of you getting caught masturbating by a fucking child increase <laughs> exponentially. Yeah. And it's like, you get comfortable in nighttime missions. I, I just feel like it's in the stars for you to get caught like a six-year-old wiping their eyes, just pushing oh open a bathroom door, and you're like, oh, oh God. get out of here. It's like, dude. That's why. Nope. Nope. That's not why happening. dedicated husbands and fathers kill their entire families. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, and that's where it turns into the whole, yeah, babe. Put That's on some Chris light, Watts. You light some candles. This is this is what candles and stuff are about, dude. You're like, let's light some candles. You light some candles, put on some sacks, and you're like, babe, can I tell you something? Is there something deep inside that's been bothering me that I feel kind of nervous to share with you? And she's like, oh my god, anything? What? It's like, I think I need to come more. She's like, oh my god, what can I do? It's like, can we just fucking masturbate together? Can we just like hold each other and maybe just fap right now. Since your since your thing's kind of out of order with lady stuff. Since you're having lady stuff issues. <laughs> Whenever I hear about that, I'm like, fuck. I don't want to do secret missions. What the fuck do I stop fucking have? I'm like Rambo constantly getting It's like being in the uh, reserves. <laughs> yeah. One week, one week a month. <laughs> Fully is. You're like, okay. Reporting for duty. And at this point, this is what I'm talking about. I'm out of touch with my sexuality because I'll, I'll just hear about a thing. 
it's a lady issue. Obviously, they're down for a week. You hear about one of them before, I'd be like, what the fuck? Now I just, I'm, I'm like completely unfazed by it. And that unsettles me. The fact that I'm like, whatever. And I'm yeah. like, all right, I've hit my point. What I've, hit, I've reached my point. I need to fully embrace my sexuality, mm-hmm. dude. And, or it's going to explode in a terrible way. What do you think about getting into just jackhammering? I've been, Out of the gate. I, oh, you're talking about into the blues. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant physically jack. I'm like, I've actually no. jackhammered stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks. You ever do that a lot? You wake up and your hands are vibrating. I'm talking about slamming a lady from the yeah. get go. Reroute power to the main thruster. <laughs> just I'll put, have yo, just put, Tim. Yo, put Tim, I'll have to talk to my I'll have to talk to my partner and get back to you. I'll have to talk to my partner. Let me talk to my partner and see what she would like because it's 50 50 Tim. Yeah. It's 50 50 I guess see yeah. what she likes. Put on some tool and just fucking. Oh, dude, although I feel like that innately turns a woman off if you're having sex with her and you're like, does this feel? If you were to like I'm just checking in with you, how does this feel? I feel like that dries up the box. Yeah. I feel like hey, I got it's, tra- it's me from up here. Just, just wanted to know what's going on down there. Just checking in. I know I'm supposed to be like ripped as fuck. Like it's supposed to be kind of automatic for you, but like just checking. Like, are you mentally spacing out right now, or is this going okay for you? Fucking, you can stop. I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. Yeah, Woo. dude. Yeah, I got to a point. I like bludgeoned. I mean, dude, um, this is such a deep share, but I, I came from a place of like such egoic sex and just got so disillusioned from like my adult life as being like, yeah, dude, turns out like you're not the king of sex. And I was like, what? Wow. What the fuck? But you probably felt like it for a little while. Dude, in my teens, I genuinely was the king of sex. <laughs> I was like, dude, I think I'm the best at this. <laughs> I've talked about this before. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's, it's so fu- it's so funny to me. It, it genuinely makes me laugh but then I went full 180 of like I'm above it mm-hmm. brother turns out I'm not no turns out I got a living breathing creature inside me right now <laughs> turns out the thing's not done <laughs> <laughs> turns out the juices are still flowing and I'm trying to and find a God. good outlet for them dude mm-hmm. trying to find a good outlet they've taken yeah. me wayward before and I can't let not obviously not in this relationship but they've taken the I followed the juices and they've fucking taken me down dark paths you got you you gotta you kind of kind of learn what you are. It's like uh, it sounds like you're a tiger. Like I'm more of a tiger myself. Like I like you know I'll like, accept a sexual, that moniker. You saying yeah. sexual tiger? A sexual tiger. Like I'm a bit of a sexual predator myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to start that. I didn't want to start. That. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a <laughs> sexual predator. Maybe we should make a list yeah. for us the good ones. I'm the more good. of a great white shark. Can we have more of like a okay, ma- ambush predator? Not to, not to steal all the glory. <laughs> Can I have like. Maybe like a match law of like sexual predators who like in a holistic way who embrace their sexual predation Dude, and aren't on those bad laws. The tiger is the most balanced of sexual predators. In okay. my opinion. <laughs> how do, in my how opinion. do, you, how do you figure? Opinion. Because, you know, like a tiger doesn't let, you know, like a tiger kills everything in its vicinity. Like if, if, if it is around me, I'm going after it. Right. So when my lady, when my lady is around me, she knows that it's always on the table. Tiger, your those eyes are glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're for fucking, sure. You're watching in the jungle. She feels that at all. She feels the heat of the right. Eyes like I know you think you domesticated a chimp, but I could rip your face off at any point. Yeah. See, I try. <laughs> I try to take that. out. I try to remove that from the house. I'm putting it back in. Yeah, it's got to be. I'm in. putting it's it gotta back be. in. It's got to be in the house. I know, dude. I know. But dude, when you get turned down a lot in a marriage, in a previous marriage, it doesn't work out. It fucking hurts you. <laughs> it was like. Do you think that was a big a big contributor for yes. your previous marriage? What was. Get not being sexually satisfied. Yeah, but it was it was dude, it was not it was not even just that. I, I know had, so much about it sounded suboptimal. It it, it was dude. I, I don't want to fuck this. This it, they genuinely were a great person. I don't want to throw them under the bus. I was a child. If I would be like I was like I want to have sex right now and it'd be like not right now and I'd be like like physically like in my and in my head I was so right. I'm like that's fucked up, dude. Yeah. Like dude, we're together. I can't have sex with anyone else. What the fuck do you want me to do? That was my whole thing. It really, it was just like, do something nice for. The, I didn't realize like, go out, maybe do something nice for the person. You could even just make them it. want. Yeah, to you, have, had, you had do tunnel vision. Rub. Make them want to have sex with you organically. I'd yeah. be like, dude, I'm working. Dude. We're working very hard, and I want sex now. Oh, and I'd be like, no. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, I had a, I had a, uh, I had an older friend who was married in a similar situation to me, and he kind of like broke this all down to me, like, uh, genuinely. Dude, and it gets to the point where you go, fine. And then you wait and you go, well, I'll just wait a week then. And you're like, then you're like, hey, it's been a week. And dude, the chick's just fucking like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, like you're cool like, about ew. it for six days. Yeah. You're cool. You're playing years. mind you're games. You're a cuckoo clock. So. You're just hitting them with the craziest energy. It was, I was just giving her incel energy. Mm-hmm. 
for sure. Yeah. And it was, that's all, that's all it was. So, you know, I was just hitting her with that and it was just kind of in my head. I didn't see what, it, I didn't see that for what yeah. it was in my head. I was like, bro, what do you want me to do? I was just genuinely confused. I was like, I'm constantly hitting her with that strong, genuine pony energy. Yeah. But my thing was like, it was tough because I'd be like, what the fuck? Like I, I need, I, I need to have sex, dude. I'm so fucking hernie. And it'd be like, <laughs> I'm so hernie. And I, my other, my other options are like, look at ridiculous porn or cheat on you. Not trying, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But yeah, that that was the I thing. I didn't. I, I was young. I didn't know how to do the whole the relationship 360. I had a like a 2D relationship thing where it's like you go to work, I go to work, or you stay home, I go to work, whatever. Yeah. I come home and it's just like. I was I had like the psychological imprint of the 1950s in terms of relationships. Do your parents have a very old fashioned relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. It was, it was like something. It was very similar. So was your like, dad was keeping pussy score, probably. I don't know. I, I mean, oh, I, I, know, I, I learned it from thing. somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> I learned it from somewhere. Although I don't know, I can't speak to their dynamic, dude. Right. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. their yeah. situation was way different than mine. That's high school sweetheart stuff. Mm. That might be the flame. That might be the Casa Madrigal, dude. That might yeah. be the eternal flame. So sure. mine was like break up seven times in college, <laughs> like be like, all right, well, I guess we'll do this. Yeah, that's a whole different setup. Man, that sounds really tedious. Yeah, that's more of a. My relationship was more of like a Tiesto song. You're more, you're more like Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. That's 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 yeah. the right stuff. Yeah, I was like, don't stop believing. Two a.m. Trying to find the one. <laughs> instead of beating the beast instead of being a beast i'm just like kind of an autistic guy and then the thing i change into is still just me but like i go oh okay i get that sometimes you just you know I, mean? <laughs> I understand one or two things about communicating well with it's my the wife. big the big you know there's always the big <laughs> swirling glow and it just comes out and there's just like health insurance you're like whoa oh, fuck. <laughs> you said i couldn't do it <laughs> <laughs> silver package <laughs> Yep. Yeah. But yeah. I, yeah, I got a lot car fun. payment. That's the that's the type of time I'm on right now. Yeah. That's the type of time I'm on right now. Wow. Yeah, that's sorry. A, that's like I'm, I, one of, one of I the took that mushroom microdose and freaked out. I don't know what happened. I think yeah, yeah. weed and mushrooms fucking zoots me, dude. I get fucked up. Are you you you, you did microdose before this? Yeah. Man. I wish I would have known that. Monster I microdose and I drank a bunch of that fucking yeah, so weed juice. Me too. You microdose too? I had a goblet. Yeah, I, I thought you were here. I, I told had, everyone they I, the, I kept them in the freezer. A couple of mushroom microdoses. Yeah, takes them with you. And I had yeah. the ice um, bong. Oh, dude, I didn't even get to talk about my... I had a lightly mystical... I got to chill with that fucking weed cake. That thing's stronger than last time. <laughs> yeah, I had you, a lightly mystical experience on the way home the other day. I, was, I mean, it was cool. Yeah. But I was like... Yeah, I think you're leveled out now, but up front, you got pretty zoomed out. Bro, I was. I was yeah. fucking freaking out. I was fully freaking You're good out. now. You're good now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I... Yeah. Well, let's go yeah. to the page, dude. We got to talk to the page. Let's talk page.